A new trademark filed by the Pokemon company may have just teased the release date for Pokemon Legends ZA. Let's talk about how right now. This new trademark filed by Pokemon comes in the form of a new TCG set. The games and the TCG seem to line up pretty close together. So for instance, the Sword and Shield games came out November 15th, 2019, and the Sword and Shield base set TCG in Japan came out December 6th, 2019. So the set came out like three weeks after the game did. Pokemon Legends Arceus came out January 28th, 2022, which was one day before my birthday. Battle Region, which was the first TCG set to have Hisuian Pokemon in it, came out February 25th, 2022. The Scarlet and Violet games came out November 18th of 2022, and the Scarlet and Violet base set in Japan came out January 20th, 2023, which that one was like a little later, but I also think like the Japanese and the English set came out simultaneously. So if we're following the Japanese TCG, it's important to know what we have coming up. So for October, we have Supercharged Breaker, which is going to be part of the Surging Strikes English set. For November, I don't think we have anything coming up that I know of. Um, that's probably because for December, we're getting the Terrastal Festival set, which is probably more than likely going to be our holiday set. And in January, we have Battle Partners. Battle Partners is probably going to be like our set that has like a trainer's Pokemon returning and trainer's Pokemon were teased in like a little trailer at the end of the Pokemon World Championship. So we know that that's coming. So Battle Partners is probably going to have like trainer's Pokemon in it. Now, I couldn't find much info like on sets between like February and April, but with the return of Trainers Pokemon coming back to the TCG uh, with Battle Partners, I'm going to assume that the Glory of Team Rocket set is going to be uh, in there because that was also like trademarked like a while ago. So we've known about this one for a while. So I'm assuming that it's going to be like within that time frame. Now, why is this important? So this trademark that Pokemon filed was for the TCG set names of Black Bolt, White Flare, and Heat Wave Arena. According to Poke Beach, we learn about these trademarks like six to eight months before like their sets release. So that puts us at like around like April to June for like the release of these sets. Now the month of May seems to be a month where Pokemon TCG like in Japan kind of like skips. So that puts us in like the summer. Now how does this all like add on to like the Pokemon Legends ZA release date? All the information that I just gave you, the summer TCG sets are definitely like Unova related with White Flare like being like Reshiram and then like Black Bolt being Zekrom. We're probably going to be getting like the ends Reshiram in like the White Flare set. This like this card here that was teased in the World Championship. So it seems like none of these sets have to do with Kalos or Legend ZA at all. Based on all of that information that I just gave you, I think it's safe to assume that we're not gonna be getting Legend ZA in early or even mid like 2025. I honestly think that it's gonna be like, like closer to like Q4. So anywhere between like October and December. To me, this also makes sense because like Scarlet and Violet were criticized so heavily. This will give them like some extra time to like make sure the game is, you know, polished and pretty much like ready for launch and also i think from like a good business standpoint if you're going to release a game after the summer you might as well just wait like right before the holidays to release it so uh i'm thinking that we're going to be getting like a november release date um also they seem to like november release dates i mean like other than like legends arceus the past three games had been released in november so based on all that information i'm going to like throw out like an educated guess here and say that Pokemon Legends ZA will be coming November 21st, 2025, which is the third Friday of November. All right, guys, that's all Hold I got on, for you. not going to talk about the fact that they just teased black and white remakes. What do you mean? Bro, they are literally doing a set based on Zekrom and Reshiram. Black and white remakes confirmed. Well, we also got the reveal trailer for BDSP in February of 2021, and we didn't even get the games until November of that year. So if black and white remakes were coming, don't you think we would have gotten like a trailer or something by now? On top of that, we never got like a Sinnoh based like TCG set that like lined up with the release of BDSP. So to kind of like say that we are getting black and white remakes based on that is kind of a stretch. So no, black and white remakes not confirmed. Sorry. Also, did you know that if you hit the join button right here, you'll become part of the Mortar Cult and get exclusive perks? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.